all, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the under. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. And now with the official introduction, and here and is, is Bruce Buck. In the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Kapoor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? So here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena. It's hard to believe this venue hasn't even been open five years when you think about all the big events it has held. Connor versus Khabib. You beat Stipe to become the double champ inside these very walls. I'm getting chills being back tonight, champ. I'm getting chills being back at the T-Mobile Arena. I love this venue. And I'm going to tell you one last thing before the fight night starts. After you're done, take a walk outside and take a gander at the side of the building. You can see your boy DC prominent of... Prominent of high in the rafters, holding up those two titles. Oh. What a great friend of the And that Vegas air feels oh. like a hair dryer in your face. <laughs> it's so hot. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There's the right hand there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. Well, whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Missed with that right hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this time. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. <laughs> Just misses there with the left. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice.
nice loop and punch. Beautiful take down land. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Big kick land. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, head kick lands from Kirk. That's a good right hand. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. being applied here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Sneaky head kick. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find oh. him. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands just to the head. Back to the feet now. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched well. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop in this contest at four minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Cup Run.